We have five gallons a minute going through both injectors at this point. The R injector, the tri 3 injector is on the left, the Mozzie injector is on the right. Notice the large bubbles coming from the Mozzie injector versus the quantity of small bubbles coming from the tri 3 injector. We have now turned up the volume of water. Notice the tri 3 injector shutting the Mozzie injector down. The small bubbles coming out of the tri 3 injector are supersaturating the water in the tank. The Mozzie injector is making large bubbles which immediately go to the top of the tank and degas. This is at seven gallons a minute. Seven gallons a minute, nineteen PSI. We have now turned the motor up, the pump up. It is now at 8 gallons a minute, and it's at 25 PSI. You'll notice the injector on the left, the Trio 3 injector, is doing a wonderful job. The Mozzie injector on the right is still making extremely large bubbles, and they're going again to the top of the tank and degassing. Since the purpose of an injector is to mix air or ozone into water, it is desirable to make the finest small bubble. Notice the tri 3 injector simply overwhelming the Mazai injector. This is a 10 gallons a minute, 35 psi. Again, Notice the extremely fine bubbles being generated by the tri 3 injector. The smaller the bubble, the better the mass transfer rate of the gas. The better the mass transfer rate of gas, the more efficient the process. Look at what has happened to this tank full of water. We have supersaturated with air. The tri 3 injector has demonstrated its superiority over the Mazai injector dramatically. The trial 3 injector will give a 36% increase in dissolved oxygen versus 16% in a mozzie. This dramatically illustrates the superiority of the trio 3 injector. If you want to improve your process, this is the injector to buy. You'll notice what's happened. The flocculative effect of the injector has brought the substances from a dissolved state into a suspended state and floated it to the top of the tank.